Hello everyone, thanks for reading my blog. This video is only for my blog and today I want to talk a little bit about the cerebellum. And this video is for everyone really, but it's more specifically for people with ADHD. I have recently been diagnosed, so I'm kind of trying to put all the information that I know kind of for me to learn more and to help you because ADHD can be complicated, you know? So we want to do things that help, that are in our control, and learning a little bit about these things can make a whole difference. So today I'm gonna talk about the cerebellum. Cerebellum in Latin is little brain. What is it? So it's a part of our brain that is located in here. Okay, I will put a picture so you can see it, and don't think anymore, just know where it is. And it's super cool because the cerebellum uh, makes up about 10% of brain's total volume, but contains over the 50% of all your neurons. So it's super important and it's quite interesting. The cerebellum, this part of the brain is responsible for coordination, voluntary movement, balance, plays a role in motor learning, cognitive processes such as attention, like focus, language, and working memory, okay? So if you have ADHD or, or if you know somebody that has ADHD, you will know that working memory is not great for us. Our ability to shift the focus is not really good. We hyper focus in stuff, but if it's not really interesting, eh, like we cannot go there. So this part of the brain is responsible in part for all of these things. Also for what is called emotional regulation. And if you have ADHD, you will know that probably emotional dysregulation can be a thing in your life. So, research says that strengthening the cerebellum can help with your physical coordination, of course, and balance, but also your emotional balance as well. And that's quite interesting, that's quite good. So, the best exercise for this little brain are all the coordination exercises like juggling, dancing, table tennis, ping pong or any any racquetball uh, game uh, handstands yoga postures that uh, helps with uh, balance and for kids with ADHD that don't know how to they can't really regulate their emotion to make it fun like for instance put your socks without touching the wall like or other things other games that can include coordination uh, exercise because it helps to strengthen this part to make it stronger and yeah i hope it helps